But Eric, see, I was on top of it this time. Well, no, I don't have it, but I have it down to ask. Do you want him when we ask those now so you get a check? Yep. Okay, Tyler, if you can just say your name and spell it so we have it on tape. Tyler Aarons. Can you spell it too? Uh, oh, T Y L E R A R E N S. Okay, and what's your position? Forward. And your number? 30. And just to verify you're a senior, right? Yes. Okay. Are his levels good? Everything's good. Okay. Tyler, you can just act like the camera's not there and just look at me the whole time. Okay. Okay. So this is your last season playing for the, this legendary high school basketball program before Muncie, Central Muncie South merged into one. Um, has this season felt any different to you compared to last year? No, I actually, um, I went to Marion my first two years and transferring here, I uh, had to sit out a whole year. My transfer didn't fall through, so I um, had to watch from the sidelines. So this is my first year actually playing at Muncie Central. Um, so I, I mean, I'm not really, I know about the history and all that, but um, not, not all the way there. Yeah. But I mean, it, I was just excited to, to get out and play this year, missing last year. And, um, you know, it's definitely been, it was definitely different watching last year from the sidelines and, and just uh, playing, playing the first, uh, the Central South game, uh, the first game of the year. I mean, I, I, you just know how big of a rivalry it is. And um, it's, it's something real special that the community um, all likes to come and see. How was last Friday's game? How'd it go? Yeah, it went good. I mean, I, I had to watch because I'm injured, but um, it, it was a full house. It was great atmosphere. And um, it was definitely fun to be a part of. <coughs> Great. Um, okay. Is there anything else you want to talk about with the rivalry between Central and South? Um, to be honest, I really don't know a whole okay. lot about it. Don't worry about it. We'll ask your coach and stuff. So, personal experiences, you haven't had much with the rivalry because you just. Just one. Just year. I've only played one game. I guess okay. Then. Can you guys talk about what the crowd was like last Friday? Yeah. Um, it was. I mean, there were so many fans, you know, equal so South and Central. I mean, there were so many people that came out and supported. Um, it was just, I wish I could have, I wish I could have played and been a part of it. But um, I mean, just even just sitting and watching, just looking around. I mean, it was some. It was real special to see. And what is your hope for your younger teammates as you leave next year, and they'll be kind of on this in this new program with with both teams? Um, it will be different for them. But I think, uh, you know, as time goes, um, I mean, they all know each other anyway. I mean, they're really friends. You know, they, they may not say they are, but they're, most of them are friends. So I don't think it would be that hard of an adjustment. Um, but it will be different, you know, definitely. But I think with, as time goes, uh, they'll get through it. Great. And when you look back on your years playing here, what are you, what are you most proud of? Um, I just... You know, I've been around, uh, my first two years, you know, I played, I was, played varsity as a freshman and a sophomore at Marion, and coming here, you know, I just wanted to, um, you know, kind of just pick up where I left off, just keep playing the game the right way, the way I know how to play, and um, hopefully just being a role model for, for little kids that come and watch, and uh, that, yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, and then what, what are your plans for the future? Hopefully to play college ball. <laughs> I don't know where yet, but hopefully I'll be able to have the opportunity to play somewhere. Great, and those are the questions I have. Is there anything you'd like to add? No, nope, I don't think so. Throw one in as if she yeah. asked the question, just real quick. Since, since you haven't really been here playing basketball, can you just talk a little bit about what basketball means to you? Just the game of basketball, but talk to her. Okay. <laughs> um, basketball, I mean, I've, I've been playing it my whole life. Um, AAU, you know, school, basketball, all that. I mean, it, there's been a lot of ups and downs for me, but I mean, you keep playing it for a reason because you love the game and, and I'm hoping to be able to um, play, play at the next level because, you know, for one, I love the game and I want to experience, um, you know, what it's like playing at, co in, like, at the college level as well. Great. Is that good, Eric? Yep, cool. Okay. Awesome. Oh, You're good you. to go. We'll, we'll get you on mic. Yep. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. yeah.
Do they always do this girls varsity and then you guys play after? No. Nah. Usually JV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was so JV. confused yeah. about that. Okay. Just they did the last two games, so. Rule. Okay. Okay, Marcus, one more time. I'll just have you say your name and spell it just so we have it on tape in case I lose my notes or anything. Marcus Dukes, M A R C U S D U K E S. Okay, and your position? Uh, guard. And your number? 15. And your year? Sophomore. Okay, great. All right. Let's see. Kind of talk about your personal experiences with the rivalry between Muncie South and Muncie Central. It's, it's really like unreal how, how real it is. It's just. So much is it's so much more than just a game. Like you representing you not only yourself but your teammates, your coaching staff, and the people, the players before you. So you just all come together and like you got to perform at your very best. Did you grow up going to Muncie, Muncie schools? Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. I came here when I was three years old, and I always wanted to come to Central. I just loved it from when I was a little kid. But yeah, I I love Muncie Central. <laughs> So did you grow up kind of knowing all about the rivalry and going to the games every year? Yes, ma'am. I went. I, I've never missed the Southside Central game since I moved here. Like, I just like I love Muncie Central versus Southside. It's just always a great game, and we always usually came out on top. Can you kind of talk about last Friday's game? Yeah, it just it was a full house. Everyone was here watching, and we were ready. And we thought we knew it was gonna be a dog fight, like, but we couldn't let up. We just had to keep going, and pressing and pressing. And what are your hopes for next year as the two schools merge? For it to be a better. Uh, I, w I hope it's for the better and not the worse. Tyler mentioned that you guys are secretly kind of friends and you all know each other. Is yeah, nah, 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 not at all. I, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, t Tyler, he's a, he's a pretty good guy. Me and him, we didn't got close over the summer. We played a lot together and he got hurt. So, I mean, we just always stayed in touch. We text from time to time, jokingly and just seriously about basketball and how we can make our team better. And, um, Obviously, there's so much history here. The school has the most state titles. How does it feel to play for such a historic basketball program? It's an honor, really, because, like I said, you, you can't just, it's not just about you. It's about the people that came before you, and it's, it's, it's real. Like, the, we have the most state championships, so uh, you have to, everybody, you're going to get your, everybody's best shot. From any school that we play, we're going to get their best shot, so we just got to prepare, be prepared and play our game. And so what else I have to ask you? Do you have any, like, Concerns about next year about the South Side coming to Central or anything like that? Uh, not really much of a concern. It's just I hope everybody has the same mentality because we want to win. We want to get back to, like you said, our state championship teams. We're trying to get back there. So if everybody's on on board with that, I'm I'm fine with it. That's great. And um, what's the, your hope for the rest of this season? We make a deep push in the sectional and, and the regional and so on. That's really my me and Tyler's goal. It's just a be as best on top of our game and lead our team as deep as we can go. Great. And um, let me see if I have any other questions for you. Do you have a favorite memory of playing against Southside? Uh, yes. Well, the, the, our first game this year when we played each other. When I blocked Shamar Isom. That's, that's my memory. Because it was just, the crowd went crazy and it just was like, hey, I just made that play, you know what I'm saying? So it, just, it was a good little play and I always remember it. And that was last Friday's game? Uh, no, ma'am, it was the November 26th when we played them first. Okay. I'll just get that in case we want to have a video of that or anything. Right. Okay. Um, I think that's all the questions I have for you. Eric, is there anything else? Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay, great. You did great. Thanks. We'll get you unmiked. Thanks, Marcus. Oof. That wasn't too bad. Who do you guys play tonight? Uh, Huntington North. Okay. Good. Fox, yeah, Sports they got a good hot. I mean, they shoot the ball pretty well. Yeah. From the okay. Did they they got, them yet this year? No, okay. it's the first time. I'm not sure of the date of this, but we can get that to you. It's on Thursdays at what was it? Five? Yeah, the original t air time is always like a Thursday at five, and then they rerun it throughout the week um, leading up to the Pacers game. So it just depends if the Pacers game is at seven, it'll air at six. And I'm not sure which guys are always on at five. Yeah, Thursdays at five. Or, yeah, yeah, I'll make sure to email your coach and let him know because we, we don't know if it'll run the next Thursday or like two Thursdays from now. So we'll, we'll find out the date and let him know so you guys can be sure to watch it. Are we rolling, Eric? Right, yeah, it's ambient. It's right. Yep, rolling now. Okay. All right, Daryl, one more time. I'll just have you say your name and spell it so we have it on tape. Daryl McKinney. D-A-R-R-Y-L-M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y.
Okay. And your position? Guard. And your number? Ten. And your year? Sophomore. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, so the rivalry between Central and Southside has obviously very been very prevalent for so long. How do you feel about the two schools merging as one next year? I think it can it can it can become something good. Like if they just come with the same mentality we have to come ready to win and play basketball like we were born to do. Did you grow up in Muncie? Yes, ma'am. So did you grow up going to the, the rival games every year? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. And what was that like? It was pretty. It was it was fun watching them play. Like, cause I always knew I wanted to be like them one day, and it was just fun watching them do what I wanted to do. Did you play in last Friday's game? Yes, ma'am. Can you kind of talk about that? It was. It was it was a good good battle. Uh, I like they came out hard, we came out hard, but we came ready to really play. And then it just ended up being on our side. But yeah. it was a good battle. Good. And um can you kinda of talk about some of your personal experiences with the rivalry? Uh me, I mean we're uh oh, I'm friends with majority of all of them. So I mean I get along like outside of school we go like play at the boys and girls club and stuff. We'll play with each other, but yeah, we I get along. I mean, they pretty, they're pretty cool people. So deep down, you guys are friends, and yeah, it'll be good next year. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, do you have any concerns or no? No, I, as long as they, like I said, come with the same same mentality we have, then we'll be okay. Well, kind of switching subjects. The history here is obviously so prevalent. You guys have the most state championships in the state. Mm -hmm. um, you're kind of synonymous with Hoosier high school basketball. How does it feel to play for? such a historic program. It was great because like like now my dad and them they all talk to me about how they did and stuff and I like and I seen them like and it was just great watching them play like that and I just love it. I just love the game and I love watching them. It was a good they were pretty good. Yeah. Loved it. Looking back on your past two seasons what are you most proud of? Uh, well basically that we all can come together and play with each other like we we never had no problems playing with each other. We all, even it like when the younger kids came up and played, we uh, even got along with the older guys. Ever, we all just got along. That's good. That's important. Yeah. And what are your hopes for, for the rest of this season? Well, I hope we can stay strong and keep battling and finish this year strong, and hopefully get some more wins. Yeah, Daryl. I think those are all the questions I have. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, ma'am. All right, Eric, anything? Sounds good to me. All right. Not too bad, right? Yes, ma'am. We'll get you on mic. I'll just uh, yeah, I'll kind of let, let you know the rundown. Okay. I'm going to ask yeah. you. You can see that mic. Let, um, me, uh, let me pull that off just for this shot. This okay. is kind of the, like, I sat down with Coach Fine to discuss the... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you ever found it with a new show? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, it is good. It does seem to be good. Yeah, thank you. I'm new to it, so this is actually just my second story okay. for them. So I'm excited. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, good place to do. I wish you could have came last Friday, like I said. That I was know. Awesome. But you know, we already thought about there's a ton of video games um, of last week's game. Okay. So we're gonna yeah, he said he could get us the full full game from the Muncie Star too. Oh, perfect. It's on the Muncie Star. On the um, website. And, you know, we could get you a DVD or we yeah, could actually could send it by that, computer that to somebody. Oh, Maybe really? your email or something. Yeah. We could do that. I live in Upland. Uh, Upland. I'm yeah, you have to say Upland. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I heard you guys saying that. Um, but uh, I could swing by like later. To, any any time to okay. a DVD or something, so okay. that would be I'll excellent. Give you my number that way you can text me or whatever. Excellent. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically, we'll talk about the history and okay. um, your kind of years, your past ten. You said you've been coached for ten years. Yeah. Okay. Head coach. Yeah. Head coach. Yeah. Okay. How long have you actually been here? Fifteen. Fifteen. As, yeah, five as an assistant, and this is my tenth. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a long time. Yeah. We, yeah, we were state runner-up in, in 2005 and 2006. Um, okay. To uh, my, my first two years with, were well, you too young? Greg Oden and Mike Conley, they were. No, no. The I number, oh, you did? Okay, Lionel, okay, but okay. I, I remember, did he go to North Central? Lawrence North, Lawrence yeah. Lawrence North. Yeah. I went to Center Grove, and I remember, okay. like, yeah. the, it would be a packed house when we would play. Uh, you're probably, are you a, two, wait, 2005, 6? 2007. Okay. I graduated high okay. school. Okay. Yep. I know your boys like think I'm old, and I'm like, no, I'm, I usually feel young, but I'm around high school, and I'm like, I'm not young anymore. I know, I loved all the yes ma'ams. I know, they kept calling me ma'am, and I was like, stop They're it. They're good kids. That's good. You guys are blind. 
All right, are we rolling, Eric? Yes. Okay. All right, Matt, if we could just have you say your name and spell just so we have it on tape. Okay, Matt, fine. M-A-T-T-F-I-N-E. Okay, great. And you have been the head coach here for 10 years. 10. Assistant yeah. S5. Yeah, 15 um, total. Yeah. Talk about what it's been like to coach for such a historic high school program. Uh, it's, I uh, feel very blessed, first of all. Um, you know, it's starting, gosh, back in 99 with, uh, with Bill Harrell, who was, you know, the legendary court, the name, uh, the court's named after him. He's won three state titles at Muncie Central. So I was... You know, when, when he hired me to, to coach the junior varsity team, I was just um, on cloud nine. You know, I'd grown up watching Indiana high school basketball in the 80s with my dad and going to, you know, Muncie Central games in the, in the mid-80s, Richmond games, the Hinkle Semi-State uh, in the 80s and 90s, and just saw so many good players, uh, coaches. And when, when Bill hired me, it was, you know, I had heard from so many people uh, in the basketball world about how lucky I was. I was and was going to be able to learn from one of the best and just very grateful for that opportunity that I had with him and then um, worked really hard and, and was lucky enough to, to be named uh, the head coach in 2005, the 2004-2005 season and um, again just to have had a great, great run here and uh, it's just a great place to be, a lot of support from the community administration uh, on down to the students um, and, and great kids to be able to coach. And um, can you kind of just talk about the history of is it eight state championships here? Yeah, um, eight with uh, with a lot of runner-ups, um, a lot of sectional regional titles. You know, uh, on, on our sign over here, you can see, and you, you guys may get a shot of that, the, in, the basketball capital of Indiana. Um, you know, it's uh, it really hits home uh, last Friday night when, when we're playing Muncie South and so many former players, coaches, managers, are coming back from around the city, not just Muncie Central High School, Muncie Southside High School, Muncie Northside High School, which closed in, I think, 88. Uh, and those, so many of those players came back and were on the floor and, and they were introduced by decade. And you just realize that, gosh, it's so much bigger than what's going on right now. And, and you're just so proud to, to be a part of, of something like that and to be able to witness that firsthand and, and be on the front row and, and you know meet some people that I haven't met before and see some people I haven't seen for such a long time. It's just, it's really hard to put into words what it, what it means, especially from a, a guy that's grown up living and breathing Indiana high school basketball. Um, can you kind of talk about the rivalry between Central and Southside? You know, it's, 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 um, it, it is a great rivalry. The, the kids uh, get into it, um, you know, more than, than maybe coaches. You know, coaches maybe wish that that game passes pretty quickly. You know, you just, uh, uh, but, but I'll tell you that the, the players on both sides since I've been here have been tremendous. Um, you know, uh, going back to the, you know, j again, the 80s when, when I grew up watching uh, Indiana high school basketball, you know, Muncie Central won the state title in 78, 79, and 88. But a lot of people don't remember that, that Muncie Southside won in every odd sectional in the 80s. So uh, they were very successful. And... Um, again, you know, it, it was just you know, great to be able to, to have a, a full house almost for that game last Friday night to, to show how supported both programs and both teams and both schools are. Yeah, and your players, when I was talking to them earlier, said, you know, on the court, or, you know, they may be perceived as rivals, but they're really friends. Yeah, you know, they, they play in the parks and the gyms and the Ys, um, and, and, you know, they know each other. Um, you know, like their brothers, you know, it, and, and that's neat to be able to see them go out and compete and compete the right way. Right. And um, what were the feelings, you know, perceptions leading up to the official announcement that the two schools would merge? Well, you know, I think that, um, you know, it's just so much of, of the unknown, and we didn't talk about it a lot. Uh, you know, we try to control what we can control, and, and that's, you know, working, getting better, trying to get better each day. But, you know, there was a lot of anxiety on both sides. But, uh, you know, thankfully, um, with with what our administration, um, South's administration, you know, our, our administration building have tried to do is is to bring people together. And and you know, one of the neatest things that came from last Friday night, from my perspective, and, and looking back on it, was looking in the newspaper and, and seeing pictures of South cent and Central kids together that night, and and community members together that were from South and Muncie Central. So. You know, I, I think that, um, you know, everybody at least seems like they're moving forward, and that's such a positive thing for, um, you know, not only our teams, but just our, our community in general. So that's exciting to think about. Yeah. 
And how does your team feel about, you know, kind of turning their so-called rivals into teammates next year? You know, I, I think that, um, you know, they're excited and, and um, you know, we're excited to, to see what can happen when, you know, you combine uh, kids from across the city. As I said, Muncie has, has been very good uh, for so many years that it's exciting to think about, you know, what what we could do with, with people together. And, and um, you know, that's what we're looking. We're looking forward to the future and we're looking forward to see what we can do here. Great. Let's see what else I have to ask you. Um, do you think, I don't even have this written down or anything, and if you don't want to talk about it, you don't, but do you think it will make, you know, obviously like the tryout process or making the team, the team roster next year more competitive? Sure. Uh, and that, you know, that's a good thing. You know, I think that, um, well, you know, you know, when you have um, competition that that makes you better on a daily basis and um, you, you know you're gonna have to work out harder on your own and you're gonna have to put more time in on your own to be able to be part of uh, teams here but um, you know uh, it, it, it's, it's exciting for kids to be able to, to you know uh, to have that drive and and to, and to know that you know the history and you know we want to continue that uh, what, what we've done and, and continue to build on that right right so essentially, you could just better the program. Yeah, you know, I think that that's the hope. Um, you know, across the board, whether it be in basketball or football or um, you know whatever, that um, you know we're, we're gonna you know have the the best uh, best players, best a best athletes in the city, and, and and put them together and see how we can you know create teams and, and teamwork and and that's that's exciting as well to think about. Yeah, can you kind of touch on this current season and your current roster? Yeah, you know we uh, we got off to a great start this year. I uh, started off four and zero, um, and and then went down to Garen Catholic and and took a tough loss down there and uh, kind of bounced back. You know, uh, the, the the weather has been uh, so so different. Never uh, been a part of anything like this. You know, we went three weeks without playing a game, and and in the middle of the season, that's you know it, our kids have done a really good job of, of handling that. And that's a tribute to their maturity to be able to, you know, we've only played nine games so far and it's, it's our, almost February. So, um, you know, they, they've kind of stayed the course and, and you know, are kind of hopefully gearing up here for the, the stretch run. You know, we play a lot of games uh, in the next couple of weeks, you know, with makeups and makeup dates coming up. So it's a different schedule that you have to just deal with and control what you can control. And that's how you're preparing mentally on a daily basis to be able to handle that. Yeah, I know it's been crazy. Yeah, it's you know it's <laughs> um, you know been, not, been able to practice some without school uh, being in and, and having others, and uh, you just have to to be able to uh, to deal with that. And everybody's dealing with it. You know that's the thing that um, you know it's not Muncie Central that's dealing with it's you know 400 other schools that are dealing with with what's going on. You can't control the weather, and you just you know try to go with go with the flow, I guess. Right. And you were saying there is a chance that you could see Mun Muncie Southside again in the sectional. Yeah, um, the, the sectional draw is, is coming up here in about three weeks. So, um, you know, that we're part of the same sectional that, that is hosted here at the field house. So there's a chance that we could go one more time. Okay, great. Well, I think those are all the, the questions I have for you. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, I don't think so. Okay. Eric, is there anything yeah. else? Okay, awesome. Okay. Matt, you were great. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. this off. Sorry we yeah. took such a large <laughs> no, amount of good. time away from you. Thank you. Getting no, you're the fine. Game. Yeah, we're, we're happy to do it. Thanks okay. for the coverage. Yeah, and is it okay if during the game we're just kind of shooting some of the game and running around the sidelines and in the bleachers? Make sure you edit that out if I'm getting wild over there. <laughs> That's what we want. We want yeah, we want to see you get wild. <laughs> I've got a wireless mic for you to wear. If nah, you want. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. We want you, Suzanne. No, no, you don't. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. Yep. You want to do We'll probably um, do some fans kind of like out and about. Okay. Sort of yeah. Oh, I spoke to a couple out there, but I told them if we needed them, we'd come. Yeah, out. I'd love to. I mean, right after this, we can still interview them, but this seems you know, more like they're in the moment. If yeah. It's like, oh, that's right. Why don't just do it that way? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You shouldn't want to interview a principal instead of me. I'm fine with both. Yep. So. Yeah. We'll interview you both. Jarvis. Unless you don't want to. I mean, that's yeah, so Jarvis. Yeah, if you don't want to, you don't Jarvis. have to. No, I'll be all right. Are you Jarvis. Afraid, are you afraid I'm going to make you You're going to edit out anything if I stammer and stutter. Right? Jarvis, uh. out the door. If you'll make me laugh, I won't be able to do it. Now, the lights are bright now. No, I'll be able to do You just slide over on this side this time. Okay. And this won't be a very long interview. I'm just going to ask you just a couple questions, okay. Suzanne. Okay. I'll take that off. This is Indian. Okay. Let's see what the best. I think if I... Would you... 
care if this was clipped. Yeah, I mean, maybe, or just like if you pinch your shirt and pinch right there, right under. Okay, yeah, like that. It's kind of low, so I'll frame your head and shoulders. Okay. There we go. Okay. Susan, what did you say your current job title is right now? I'm currently joined schools on the athletic side of things. Can you, can you talk about that? Oh, from an athletic standpoint, mm -hmm. leading up to that. Um, you know, I, I think leading up to the whole decision whether we were going to be one high school or state two was a um, uh, intense or traumatic for some people. Um, a lot of animosity may be going around, but I think once the decision was made, um, we all have, have started to come together. We're doing a lot of things uh, in the school building. Um, in our transition teams, there are more than 20 transition committees. Um, that are in place that are working to, to bridge that. Uh, we had great um, professional development today with both staffs from the high schools, um, and so it was a positive step. We're looking forward to tomorrow um, on Saturday bringing 150 students in from both high schools and, and both of our middle schools um, to start that transition with our student leaders. So it was a little hard, I think, leading up to it. I think once the decision was finally made, um, then we just started to look forward and um, things have been very positive um, in that going in that direction um, and, and I think each day will get better. Uh, a lot of those committees are going to help a lot of the decisions that need to be made. Um, I'll be chairing an athletic committee that will look at um, really everything athletics um, from uh, do we need to look at increasing, you know, do we need to add some freshman teams? Do we need to, how do we do cheerleading tryouts? Um, do we need to add some more coaches um, at different levels? So a lot is going to go into that. Um, how do we handle booster clubs? Because we're merging two high schools that do things differently. Um, so we have to come together and figure out what the best is um, for both schools and make that work for one high school. And we're we're I'm sorry, I'm getting, okay. when your hand hits that oh. cord, it makes a micro I noise. I talk with so my hands on I know, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get it a little back further. But. Okay. I'll but try yeah, not to talk with my hands. Once it hits your shirt, okay. it kind of makes it. Okay. So we, oh, yeah, scratching If there's anything noise. in there you want to read. We do. I'll redo. try to hide. I won't try to talk sorry with my hands. Sorry about that. No, 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 no. no. That for background information. And then. We'll kind of I thought maybe I didn't answer your question. Like no, 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 answer. you did. Um, <coughs> are we, we're rolling and everything, yep. we're good. Okay. Um, kind of, can you talk about what your hopes are for next year? As, as this is your first time ever being an athletic director? It is not my first time to be an athletic director. Um, I actually was athletic director at Cowan Junior Senior High School here in Delaware County for eight and a half years. Um, so I do have athletic uh, director background. Um, what I, we're, we're looking to put together um, competitive teams with great coaches. Um, you know, my goal would be um, we're very competitive and looking to, to win uh, North Central Conference championships on a year-in, year-out basis, not just in basketball, but every sport. Um, we want to be competitive. Um, I think we will be competitive. Um, I think the process in trying to get those uh, coaches in place and um, teams um, selected as the time comes next year, um, there'll, there'll still be a little bit of um, uneasiness maybe on those processes, but as we move forward, um, we're looking at doing some things over the summer um, and to just to make that transition easier for kids and, and for our student athletes. I was surprised talking to the students, maybe not surprised, but I thought they'd have some concerns or, you know, some doubts, but they mm -hmm. all seem genuinely very excited for this transition. You know, and I think once the decision m was made, um, that maybe settled some nerves a little bit. Um, I think really, in, the, in, all, in all honesty, our students are going to handle it very well. Um, from both schools. Um, I think sometimes the parents maybe struggle a little bit because they, they, they are, you know, the parents and they have that tradition where they went to school and it's hard to give that up and we know that. Um, but we really feel like our students in both high schools are going to make the transition very, very well and we really look forward to, to working with them. Great, Suzanne, that's all I wanted to ask you. Is there anything okay. else you'd like to add? <laughs> no, I'm and real good. quick, while I have your mic up, okay. can you just say your name and spell it too, yeah. just to make sure we have it right? Yeah, uh, Suzanne, S-U-Z-A-N-N-E, Crump, C-R-U-M-P. Okay, great. And your title is Associate Principal? Currently Associate Principal at Muncie Central High School. Future AD. Future Athletic Director. Okay, got it. Okay, Thank you. you're welcome. <laughs> yep, so, but now the telecom and journalism schools are merging, which is good because okay. you need to know kind of every side of it. Sure, them, so. oh, sure, absolutely. Yep, yeah, I graduated there. It'll be three years ago this May. Wow, All good right. for you. We've got about five minutes of tape left, and then if we need to switch, we can. I've brought one in. Okay, and we're rolling? Yep, we're rolling. Okay, 
If I can just have you say your name and spell it so we have it on tape. Uh, Tom Jarvis, T-O-M, J-A-R-V-I-S. Okay, and your principal? I'm the principal, yes. Okay, can you kind of talk about your history here? I know you were. Uh, this is my third year as principal. Prior to that, uh, I was 10 years as athletic director, and I've been with the Muncie Community Schools for about 28 years now. Okay. Um, and can you kind of tell me a little, about, a little bit about the history here with boys basketball? Well, what do you say about the history of Muncie Central Athletics? I mean, it's a, it's a storied past. Uh, you know, when you think about all the great people that ever walked on that floor to play a game of basketball, you know, you, you start with Ron Bonham and, and go all the way to Bonzi Wells and, and some, some, you know, those are just two of the greats that we've had. And, and they really set the foundation for others to follow. And it's just exciting to be here uh, to see eight state championships. You know, if you, if, you look in our, if you look at the field house, we have eight state championships. We don't recognize second place because uh, we, we always just want the, 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 the main prize. Right, right. So. Um, and can you kind of talk about the rivalry between South and Central? Well, you know, you talk about rivalry, uh, and usually, you know, we, we get to the point where we don't call it a game, we call it an event. Uh, because everyone in town shows up and uh, just every year you have four or five thousand people there and some of the greatest games of all season is because of that one game because they, they take out uh, you know there's a lot of bragging rights uh, for a whole year and uh, when you have bragging rights for a whole year because they play each other in the off season and know each other you, you just know they're going to play their hearts out and it, 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 some of the greatest games of all time have been played and I know one year, uh, I think it was 88, where, where both teams were probably the top two teams in the state, and it came down to a, an overtime win, and, and we won and went on to win the state championship. And that was probably the toughest game of the season we had. I was going to ask you if you had any personal like, or favorite memories of the rivalry. Would that be it? Well, that, that would be one. Uh, I, I have so many memories of just basketball here in this field house because I've been going here for f over 40 years to see basketball and I can remember holiday tournaments that were packed and the and the sectionals when uh, you know you had all before the consolidation took place and you had you know the Roartons and the Dalevilles and everybody playing one class and it would be just be packed even on a, on a over the holiday for a tournament and those were special times for me as a 12 or 13 year old kid uh, to see these kids, the, the, the packed house and the excitement and the popcorn being sold clear up in the stands and uh, just great memories. Is there any sense of sadness? Can I text about my show, please? 